Trying out for the team just got a little cheaper for kids in one mid-Michigan school district. The Waverly Community Schools Board of Education voted last night to no longer make students pay to play sports. Susan L. Corey tells us why. Making that game-changing tackle wasn't always an option for students in the Waverly Community School District. With pay-to-participate fees on athletics, the option typically came down to which sport to play that year. Even if they couldn't afford it, some of them wouldn't try new things. And now, if they were just going to play basketball, maybe they'll try football. With tight budgets, participation fees to play sports is the norm in many school districts. However, in an effort to increase participation and remove barriers to play sports, the Waverly Board of Education voted to remove that cost. This was an impediment to student learning, and we decided to um, revisit that policy. In the past, cutting sports programs was one way the school district dealt with budget concerns, but school administrators are optimistic that this policy change will help school enrollment and turn strengthening the school's budget. It's going to help in the long run with our school system as well as our high school. Under pay to participate, students had to pay a $50 fee for each sport they played. But by eliminating that cost, school officials hope it'll boost enrollment in athletics. It's one last opportunity to let kids be kids without putting uh, undue burdens and undue, undue fees uh, on top of, uh, of the things that they seek to accomplish. And with no more fees for students to play sports, hopefully more will be going out for the team. In Delta Township, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The Board of Education is still trying to decide where to take the extra money from, but says it doesn't plan on cutting anything from the sports program.